Welcome back to Farm and Hammer, everyone. Uh, today it's another chilly one out. Uh, looks like it is 28 degrees. Feels a lot cooler than that. The wind is blowing, and uh, there's a bald eagle. I don't know if you can see that or not, but, but yes, it's that time of year uh, when all the bald eagles come back around. Uh, they normally stay around here all winter. And they eat dead chickens from the chicken houses, they eat dead baby calves, anything like that. So normally we got five or six flying around our farm. Um, they'll head down to the creek and hang out down there. But uh, yeah, a lot of bald eagles coming back around. But there's a few things on today's agenda. The first thing being feeding hay. And we actually did end up finding some more hay for sale. So. Um, I will be hauling a lot of hay here in the next, hopefully, a couple days. Well guys, there is two bales. That last bale, it was backwards, so I had to unroll it driving backwards, but um, there's two bales, got two more to feed. So yeah, at the moment, they're getting four bales, and here in probably three weeks, they'll be getting five. Anyway, I got two more bales to feed, and I will see you guys out at a different group of cows. Um, we gotta move them to their last fresh pasture. Next on the list is to move the pigs and feed them, of course. You get their feed ready now.
Okay, we're out with the pigs. Um, the last time you saw these guys, they were in this paddock here. Um, and next we moved them into this tiny, tiny little pin here, because that's the short wire we have. Um, and, and next we're moving them into this long, skinny paddock here. Uh, I've already shut the fence off. Now I'm just making sure if I let the pigs in, they won't be getting out. Looks like I need to tighten this wire. But. Okay, fence is good to go. Pigs are ready to move. They've only been in this paddock for three days. Like I said, it's pretty small, so they tore it up relatively quickly. And slowly we're gonna move them that way because their butchering date is getting closer and closer. So we wanna get them as close as we can to an open area where a tractor can get into. Um, we're probably going to try and avoid this little pond here just to keep them from turning that into a mud hole, but. Anyway, now I gotta sneak in here and grab the feeder. Also, fun fact, uh, the other day, let's see, this one right here, this big one here, uh, he was bleeding super bad. He was covered in blood. Some of the other ones had blood on their head. And I was really confused. What well, we found out, he got his little tail bit off. I don't know if you can see the scab there. One of the other pigs decided they were hungry and just chewed the end of his tail off. So. Um, he has a little bit of a shorter tail now. Uh, other than that, he, he was fine. It was just a lot of blood. So anyway, pigs are doing great. I will be doing a DIY butcher setup um, video here either this week or next week just to show you all of my equipment um, and basically how we're gonna do all this. So anyway, pigs are good. They've got, I don't know, about a month until they're butchered. And uh, they're getting big. And the last thing on the list today is actually moving this group of cows. This is on a different farm. We've got this little farm split up into, let's see, one, two, three, six pastures. So we've got one pasture left to move them on. It has already been grazed, I don't know, about a month ago, a month and a half ago. And so there's not a whole lot of grass here. Um, but it's better than starting to feed hay. So this group has not had hay yet. And uh, we're hoping to not feed for another three days, but we'll see how it goes. come in. can see there's not a whole lot of pasture but for these 20 cows it'll it'll feed them for the next day or two
this young bull, he missed the memo. Anyway guys, that'll be it for today. I appreciate you guys watching. Um, like I mentioned, I'll hopefully have a butchering setup video here in the next week or two. And, uh, and then of course the once a week vlog. So anyway, thanks for stopping by. Thanks for watching. And with that being said, I will see you guys next time.